So if you're looking for some ideas to create a food truck, I'm going to give you the top 12 sweet trucks in order of popularity, and we're going to do it right now. All right, so let's jump right to it. So welcome to Marketing Food Online, and in this episode, I'm actually going to give you the top 12 sweet trucks from popularity from the least popular all the way down to what's number one in regards to food trucks and sweets. So always keep in mind if you start a food truck, it is a huge investment and a huge endeavor and you need to make the commitment to make it successful and profitable. You definitely need to work your butt off to be honest with you and you want to make sure that whatever you're picking out to make is something that you're truly passionate about and that you're excited about because the amount of work you're going to put into your truck, you want to make sure that there's some point in time you're actually having a good time and having fun doing it it's not something that you want to do that's going to be dreadful so now the other thing that's super important i'm going to give you these 12 but you need to understand that they will need each of them specific types of equipment to create them all of them are different in that sense that all of them will have certain types of equipment in order for you to produce them certain types of packaging your price point and there's a numerous other uh, aspects to creating each individual product from what I'm about to tell you. So keep that in mind. And of course, this is just going to give you a list. And of course, I want you to kind of take that list as something that maybe you can brainstorm, come up with something that you can either mix one or two of them, or maybe three of them, or even four of them. Uh, but you definitely want to be sure that you're going to have the right equipment in order to make each of these. So let's jump right to it. Let's not waste any more time. The number 12 one is nuts. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, nuts, that doesn't sound very exciting, but it is. Candied nuts, which you can actually uh, make into brittles and make into um, candy nuts. You can have a variety of these to choose from. There are literally over a dozen or so different types of nuts, and there's different ways to present them, uh, different ways to make them sweet and to flavor them. Um, but definitely nuts is something that there's a lot of people who enjoy uh, deep fried nuts, candied nuts. Um, ones that have been put into a brittle, as I mentioned before, and there are numerous ways to actually make them and make them sweet. So number 11, cream brulee. So cream brulee is something that is not the most easiest thing on the world to make, to be honest with you. You have to really practice at that to make it uh, the way that it should be made. Um, and it's, it takes a little bit of training and definitely a lot of practice. So that is something that is extremely popular, especially when you go to certain events, uh, jazz festivals, art festivals. When you have the clientele who are not necessarily looking for a frozen yogurt or fried donuts, cream brulee is, is, a, is a different type of dessert, different type of sweet but definitely something that once you get it down pat, the margins on them is very, very high because you can definitely raise the price point on cream brulees. Number 10, churros. Churros is something that is very simple to make. It does not take rocket science to make churros. Um, and there's a lot of variations and ways once you've actually made it that you can top it with a variety of uh, cinnamon sugar, powdered sugars, um, flavored cinnamon sugars as well. There's a variety of different ways that you can do them. You can top them with sauces like caramel. Um, you can also do chocolate drizzles. There's a variety of things that you can put on them, making them more appealing. So churros makes it in at number 10. Number nine, gelato. Now, this is something that we handmade. I personally actually was making gelato in our Italian bakery uh, back in the day in 2008 when we opened it up. And I, it took me a lot of batches to figure out how to make it. We made very small, like artisan style batches of gelato. We had 12 flavors. Um, it is not the easiest thing on the planet to make, but that's okay because you can actually buy it in bulk in commercial size and put it in your truck and simply resell it. You don't have to necessarily make it from scratch. And I personally would not recommend you do that. Now, unless you have a lot of time on your hands to train yourself or be trained to make it, you can simply just buy it in bulk, drop it in your truck, scoop it, and serve it. Make it as simple as a process as possible because of all the other things that you have to do with your food truck, you don't want to tackle, tack on a, a tremendous amount of time and effort making gelato. Definitely a, a product that could be simply uh, purchased and resold. Number eight, donuts. Now, this is a, a no-brainer, and nowadays the amount of equipment that they have available to produce amazing donuts 
um, is, is, is outsta- uh, uh, crazy. It's uh, mind boggling. They have a variety of different deep fryers. They have a variety of ways you can top them. You can put icings and frostings and dips, and you can put um, toppings that we put like similar to what we even do with our chocolate pretzels, everything from sprinkles to syrups. It just is endless. And donuts are extremely cheap to make because it is literally fried dough. And one of the most expen- inexpensive things on the planet is dough. And if you get a good dough, dough and you've got it down pat and you can either produce it or make it yourself, you're even going to make it even cheaper if you don't buy it. Number seven is chocolate. Now, you might be thinking, I've never heard of a food truck that just specializes in chocolate. If you are a chocolatier, if you are someone who loves making chocolates, truffles and that side of that type of thing, uh, chocolate is something that has a huge margin on it especially when it's sold in in the quantities of like six or seven pieces or 12 in a pack. You can go anywhere. I've seen some of these places. I saw a a chocolate shop that was charging anywhere from like, I think it was three to $4 a piece for chocolate. And they were selling them in packs of 12, which is crazy. Chocolate is something that you can make in so many different varieties between filling them in chocolates and having solid chocolates, the shapes, the forms, the flavors. It's literally endless. So chocolate is in a number seven. Number six, frozen yogurt. Now, again, this is something that's hugely popular, well-known everywhere. And again, something you don't have to make yourself, which is comes almost in line with the gelato because you can literally get this in bulk in commercial size packaging and drop it in your truck. And again, scoop it and serve it, making it very simple and hugely profitable. Because one of the things about sweet trucks, depending on how intricate the product is, Food trucks are a little different because if you're selling food in a food truck, you have to have several cooks or chefs or servers with you because you're either piecing together ingredients or you're actually cooking it literally in front of the customer. When you get to things like gelato, you get to things like frozen yogurts or nuts or churros. These are things that are very simplistic and very easy. And in some cases, you don't have to make it. You just simply buy it and resell it. So you don't have to have 10 or 15 or 7 or 8 people or some enormous amount of people in your food truck. You can literally have this be a one-man or even just two-man operation where you're scooping and serving it, and that's it. So when it comes to payroll, you got to also think to that. Some of these products are may, may cost nothing to make. But if you've got three or four people in your food truck and they're making these other th- items and they're helping you piece this together, your payroll is going to be skyrocketing. It's going to be It's going to cost you a fortune. So it's things like frozen yogurts and gelatos and donuts, simplistic, simple, and easy, but high profit, high margin. Number five is going to be bakery. Now, you could be thinking to yourself, well, what does that mean? Now, bakery is pretty broad. You're right. So this is where it comes into what I said in the beginning of the video, finding that one particular thing that you love to make. Now, there's obviously hundreds, if not thousands of baked goods that you could potentially make. But if there's one thing in particular that you love to bake, and you can make it very fast and quick for a customer, then bakery uh, bakery product is definitely for you. Now, being very similar to donuts and the fact that a lot of the ingredients in bulk are very cheap, bakery products are highly margin, very, very profitable products. So bakery comes in at number five. Let's get to number four, general desserts. Now, General desserts can cover a vast variety similar to bakery. I can understand what you're probably thinking. That's kind of broad and generalized. Desserts in general. Now, if it happens to be a banana split, if it happens to be um, uh, whoopie pies, if it happens to be cupcakes or cookies, anything of just basic, simple, easy to produce or can be produced prior to you going to a food truck rally or a food truck place and just simply selling the product it is a no-brainer and a hugely profitable product. Number three, ice cream. Not frozen yogurt, not gelato, because those are two different types of ice creams completely. One is obviously the is frozen yogurt has its own consistency and its own flavor and its own texture. Gelato is on the same thing. Gelato is a very um, high-fat Uh, very rich, very indulgent type of ice cream, similar to ice cream. But ice cream is something that's just a no-brainer, and it's obviously something that can be never had to be made or produced by you. You buy this in bulk, drop it in your truck, and you serve it on cones and waffle dishes, plates, plastic cups, any of that type of thing. And the larger the size, the higher the margin. Very simple, easy to make. Ice cream is definitely something you – I personally would tell you that from this list, if you could bring together two to three of these – and offer two or three different types of these sweets on your truck, 
I would I would say definitely go for it. Now, obviously, if you've got something that has to be fried, if it's um, a donuts or if it's churros or something to that effect, you're going to have different types of equipment needed, and you may not have room for all that. But bringing together maybe even frozen yogurt, gelato, and ice cream, so you've got three varieties of those types of desserts, is like it's a goldmine. It's giving a lot more variety to your consumer, your customer, and they're both all three of them are hugely profitable when you're dealing with something like a food truck. Number two, cupcakes. Now, this is something that can be made and utilized in a commercial kitchen and simply brought onto a food truck and then sold. Not a lot of that I've seen are baking cupcakes fresh. Uh, they can bake them prior to a certain event. Now, the only risk that you run with doing this is that you may bring to an event a certain amount of cupcakes and you may run out if you're not actually baking them fresh as you go. And that could be a problem. Now, if you overbake, that could be potentially a problem. But then if you go to another event, you can simply sell them as well. Now, cupcakes don't have a huge shelf life, especially if you don't have preservatives. So making the cupcakes, producing them, if you've got a certain a niche or you've got a certain flavor profile or something unique about them and you're making them in a commercial kitchen, bring them with you in your truck and simply selling them and, get, and basically get rid of what you baked is a great idea. Again, keep in mind, if you've got the ability, you I would say keep a flow of baked cupcakes on the truck if you're going to do that. Now, depending on how intricate they are, uh, some of the ones that we had in our bakery, we actually we filled, we had a Bavarian cream one that we actually filled in the middle with cream and put chocolate on the top with a cherry. Now, some of these are a little more involved as far as making them. Keep that in mind too, because again, payroll. If you've got somebody who's making them for you on the truck or working with you, you have to pay them. So cupcakes that are simple, easy to make prior to an event and simply sell, that's the way to go. Number one, Ice pops and frozen treats. So ice pops are frozen treats. And this, this is a huge variety of frozen treats when it comes to pre-made items that you are just reselling. These are not something that you're going to make. I've seen numerous food trucks. It's basically like an ice cream truck, to tell you the truth, um, that go to certain events, mainly in spring and summer, really hot, hot seasons and events where the people want to cool off. They've got their kids and they want something cold and refreshing. Definitely get ice pops or frozen treats. And there is literally hundreds of them out there. Companies for like Good Humor, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Good Humor has them. And they have a huge variety of them to choose from just from that one single brand. And you could fill a truck up uh, with a freezer and simply resell them for a couple bucks a piece and you would make a killing. So ice pops and frozen treats. That is our number one out of our top 12 sweet trucks. If you're looking to create a sweet product and make a serious profit margin, that is the way to go. So I'm going to wrap it up. And as always, I appreciate you guys listening and checking out Marketing Food Online. And if you are not subscribed, definitely subscribe. And if you've got questions about Marketing Food Online or if we can help you with some consulting, give us uh, an email, marketingfoodonline at yahoo.com. And we will see you on the next video.